Hello all, um, I've been suffering with the flu the past few days, and well, it's honestly not that big a deal, I didn't really want to do a video and be sneezing and hacking and coughing, and while you guys were listening, and I don't really have time for the sound of my voice anyways, and it sounds even worse when I have a stuffed up nose. Noise about this sickness, I have my nose, but my nose is both runny and dry. <laughs> Explain that, it's twisted, but oh well. So on my first month, my book was first published, when I first found a publisher, and I started marketing my book, I got hate mail. And the hate mail was hilarious, and rants from people who can obviously don't know how to spell, let alone use a keyboard. Poorly written page after page of all the reasons why I shall be dead and I'm going to hell and how dare I blaspheme the book of the Lord and shit like that. And I did so adore it. Well, now that my book is getting closer and closer to release, um, my hate mail is being replaced by fan mail. And the fan mail is kind of creepy. It, I guess it's nice to have like a congratulations, hope the book does well, look forward to reading it. That's, I guess, nice, but it's mainly scantily clad to vulgar photos of women who want me to marry them and have my baby. These, I don't think these women even know what I look like, I just think they're essentially star fuckers looking for their potential 15 minutes of fame. <coughs> so, yesterday when I got my first hate mail in quite some time, I got excited. <laughs> and this hate mail was apps, oh, it was pure comedic gold. I am, um, I used to be worse than Obama. Now I'm worse than Hitler. I will bring about the demise of the Christian people. I will be the leading cause of the Christian Holocaust and the eventual end of the world. Revelations is coming and I'm leading the world into it. Well, it just rants on and on in poorly written words and grammar. I don't ask much for the person to email or text me, but at least have the decency to make an effort to spell right. I have problems with grammar too. I'm not exactly that much of a grammar Nazi. I But at least get to try and make the basic spelling right. I mean, come on, anyway. This guy writes on for what is essentially a short story. It's even longer than an essay. It's essentially a short story about all the reasons why I am bringing to mind the destruction of the world and I will fool nations against God's will and he will punish them all beside me. One particular bit I remember in this drivel is the fact that when I am in hell, Santa will anal fist me. Not Satan, Santa Claus. Well, not Santa Claus, you didn't say Santa Claus, but Santa. Well, I never knew Santa was into that sort of shit. I feel really sorry for his children now. But anyways... It was absolutely hilarious and epically 
wrong for all the right reasons, <laughs> and just, it made my day. Now, when I get a email like this, I like to message them back occasionally and see how long I can egg them on. So, I got another email today from Christian Night Guy. I don't remember what his email was, but it was something like X Christian Night Guy, something or other. They never use it right correct emails. I highly doubt this guy's real email address is Christian Night Guy. But anyways, this one was just wow. Satan due to anal fisting males cause me to menstruate and bleed like a woman where I will bleed for the rest of my days. I wonder how long this guy has been single. I wonder if he has a daughter. Sad thing is, I know guys like this, and they usually tend to have a woman. Some poor, stupid woman, but anyways. I am going to see if I can egg him on even more, and since apparently I might be getting some more hate mail, I am going to let you people in on this morbid entertainment as well. <laughs> because I, oh, I do so love this hate mail. I've already accepted the idea that I will quite possibly be shot. Um, it may not happen, but I'll be disappointed if it doesn't. I forget the author's name, but the guy who wrote his satanic verses got threats constantly from Muslims and Islamic groups, and he's still around. And I wonder how much hate mail he gets now. He's probably likely forgotten about, say, for the few really pissed off people who are blowing his book way out of proportion. So, if I get any more juicy hate mail, expect some more videos like this, and take care, all. Remember, keep something to hate. I love it. Take care, all. Bye.